Hi, uh, welcome to the uh, MLB Odds Couple show for uh, Thursday, August 25th. He's Mike Brenner. My name is Peter Loshak. We uh, both had yet another winning day yesterday. Mike yes, Brenner, sir. let's throw up the, the record. Now, uh, officially in August, as of right now, I'm up a little bit over 20 units, and Mike wow. Brenner is up a little bit over 25 units for the wow. month of August. Woo. Unbelievable. Hey, come on. There you go. Well, Pete, guess what? You keep saying unbelievable, but guess it's becoming believable yeah. because... We're showing up every day, and you know what? We just don't take it for granted. Because this shit could go south real quick. Listen, I mean, I, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, but yeah. I have seen it with my own eyes, yeah. so I do believe it. I do believe it. It's I not do unbelievable. Too. Let's believe right, it again today. Right. Take a look at this card. Thursday, August 25th was one that jumps out at me as kind of a no-brainer, and now I'm thinking that maybe these no-brainers at this point hey, in the season. how did your big balls pick of the day yesterday I don't know. Go? Which one was it? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, there's one no-brainer that I think is, uh, is at this point something that we should just bet into, and it's Texas at home against Ooh. Cleveland, right? Tomlin definitely been struggling. Oh, Hamill's definitely been been, uh, been very reliable. Cleveland, the whole team's been struggling. Texas as a team, we know what their lineup brings. And, uh, you know, Texas betting them one first half, full game, whatever, uh, seems like a good play, right? Well, Pete, on the side of a milk carton yesterday, you know how they have the missing kids thing. Yeah. Well, they had a missing offense. If you've seen this offense, what happened? Cleveland Indians. Yes. I'm telling you. I, I, that I mean, was it's one good. of my winners yesterday. I took Oakland as a whole Yes, dog. you did. Yeah. And, I, and my hat's off to you. Another, uh, another friend of mine uh, also was very heavy on that game. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you know, Texas, again, they just they keep it going. I like it. I think this is going to be a really – this is going to be a defining moment because you got to, this is going to be a weekend series and they're in the battle for that spot. Guess what? I'm all over it. Mm -hmm. Hamill shows up in situations like this. Pistol Pete, line shopper, talk to me mm -hmm. about a first half run line. First half run line for yes, Texas. It's going to be high. Line? I'm ready to no, run. No, not it. that high. Well, we can give you a minus 115. Oh, shoot. That's very, very acceptable. How about the full game? Full game run line for Texas. Best yep. line, line chopping here would be, let's Full see, plus, plus 128. I love that. Now, Pistol Peak, a team total. For Texas, yeah. would be, uh, not, let's I'm, see, it would be, uh, well, the full game here is, uh, is uh, where is it? I full, thought it was nine. Yeah, the full game here is nine, so the Texas team total I'm would be, five yeah, it might be four and a half uh, high, juice or it. five on the dog. I'm going to take line. it. I think this is the Maybe, day no, that every... No, it'll be five. It'll be five. Okay, yeah, no yeah. problem. Over five, Pete. I, I like so. it, and we'll let you know what the line is on that. Again, clear. Cleveland having the struggles. Tomlin, God, the last three games he has been pounded. And yeah. uh, when you get a team now scratching its head going, what the hell are we doing wrong? And they can't figure it out. This is a good time for Texas to stomp on these yep. boys. I love it. Three spots. All right. Sounds good. I'm just going to take Texas minus one standard kind of play for me. The money yeah. line, best line yeah. is minus 154. The run Standard line plays, good. though, have been on well, fire yeah, for you in August, sure. baby. One, so that's going to wind up being about minus 120, 125 or something like that. All right. We got that one out of the way. That's the most obvious no-brainer. Then no-brainer number two, which is not a no-brainer, but but it's because uh, it's uh, one of these massive lines, right? Uh, what Hap against Weaver, Toronto against the Angels, uh, it, it got bet up from the high overnight line. Now it's up around minus 260-ish. What do you think, Mike? Well, I, I got a couple things to say. You and yeah. these categories, and what should well, be a no-brainer, yeah. then it's not a no-brainer, but here's what's better. You know why we're on fire? I feel it. Mm -hmm. Look, first two games you talked about. Look, what are the first two games of my paper? Yeah, well, the, and we mean, don't discuss games. Yeah. We discuss nothing before we step in here. these are the obvious games that would jump out to any yep. sports well, better. Maybe yeah. not. So but what Pete, do you it's the order they're jumping out. Yeah. I like it. Well, Something's got to happen big time with with Toronto. They got to find that consistency. And yesterday they just got lit yeah. up. I mean, Albert yeah. Pujols four for four sure. or something like that. Trout three for four. Sure. I think if anybody can kind of derail that, I think it's Hap. Mm -hmm. um, I'm liking the first half mm -hmm. run line. All right, the first half run line. Uh, let's see what this line is. I think they're going to jump gonna on be high. Let's see. It's going to be Toronto. high. It's going to be the best line minus one seventy. Okay, that's going to be a little too high for my yeah. blood, Pistol Pete. I'm going to look at a full game run line. Right, I was thinking to be about minus one thirty or Toronto, something. Toronto, yes, that's right. That we can give you at the Greek minus one twenty five. All right, a little well, line see, shopping. There's the line yeah, shopping line right shopping. there. Saving five cents. Okay. I'm doing it, Pete. Right. I think they're going to get her done today, and it could be a high scoring game yeah. though because after Hap leaves, I think LA might continue. But yeah, it's weird. Hap gave up three home runs in his last start against the Yankees. It's and he has weirdly uh, bad numbers against the Angels, wow. and, and and Weaver has weirdly good numbers at the Rogers Center. But yeah, holy I, you know, cow! I you know. might just talk me off the ledge no, there. I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm going I'm I'm to revisit gonna, that when we go through. I'm them, probably going to throw all that out, but I don't know. All right, so that's an interesting one. Then let's see what else do we have uh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. now we have a uh, Detroit and Minnesota. Barrios, the youngster, who has definitely uh, not been getting it done at the no. major league level. No. Norris is is okay, probably also a bit vulnerable, but 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 you know has been serviceable at the major 
Champions League level uh, in recent starts. And uh, I'm thinking that Detroit, once again, big casher for both of us yesterday. Liking him here again today. I'm not sure how many bet him, but what do you think about this one? Well, I think Norris also, uh, a couple of his losses have been because of a lack of run mm -hmm. support, which is not really a normal thing for that yeah. lineup because they're powerful. Mm -hmm. um, this team's real. They're starting to put it together, Pete. They cashed for me yesterday uh, again, and I think Cabrera is just really catching fire. Upton, Justin Upton, somebody, I'll tell you right now, somebody just put a flame up is you-know-what mm -hmm. because he wasn't doing shit in the beginning of August. This guy's turning it on. He's pouring it on. I like it. I think today it's going to happen again. Uh, first half run line pistol, All Pete right. Detroit. First half run line for Detroit. The best line would be uh, line plus, uh, plus 115 My at the Chris God, Books. I love that. Yeah. All right, now how about the full game money line? Full game money line for Detroit. Best line would be minus 120. Okay, and what would the team total? Just more or less. For, Texas, for Detroit. Or Manos. I can tell you exactly because I actually checked it. There would be five minus 141. Five. I like it. I'm going over. I think they're going to battle it again today and go over. So I'm doing the team total over five, and I'm doing the first half run line full game money line. Okay, three picks for you, and I will also go on Detroit. Just another standard play, minus one. Uh, money line part minus 120. The run line part plus 135. That should work out to be about Pete, plus one. if they keep doing what so. they're doing and their mid-relief tightens up, yeah. this is going to be a ticket cash and team as we pour on towards playoffs, I'm All telling right. you. All right, so those are the first three that I definitely wanted to get to. Then there's some other interesting ones. Is there anything else you like, Mike Brenner? Uh, there is. There is. I think it's going to be a, a good play here. Boston, mm -hmm. big tight game. This mm -hmm. one cost me yesterday, but yeah. hey, it's going to happen. You're not yeah. going to win them all. Um, you know, I, they get Jump out to a three nothing lead with Tampa, and they're dangerous when yes. they when they need to be. Well, recently they've been better. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, they've won like yeah. seven out of what? And they've been 10 productive and, offensively. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. And then they got Odorizzi on the mound, and sure. this guy has yes. been in a zone. So what I'm going to do today? I think Boston's just too powerful for this mm -hmm. team, though. All in all, I'm looking at a second half mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. for Boston Pistol Pete. Okay. What would that be more or less? I think that would be about minus one thirty okay. or minus one thirty five. All right, or something and we'll like let that. you know. And how yes. about the full game money line with Boston? For Boston, the best line would be minus one twenty five. I like that, Pete. I like that. Do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, one? it's a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of going to revisit this because I want. I know I need to look deeper into. Did you a see the way? First of all, how that game ended last well, night. Well, it was extra innings. Yeah. Yeah, but did you see the no, two no, errors? No. It ended on two errors. It should have been an out. Catcher drops the ball. He got five yeah. steps to. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it was uncharacteristic. I think Boston today explodes. Okay, so. you might be right. I'm certainly. It certainly sounds good to me. I'm going to have to look into it. I'm, I, I feel like I don't have a great read right now on Tampa Bay. So I need well, I can to tell you this also. The last time Odorizzi pitched against Boston, he lost four to nothing. Pitched a decent game in Boston though, so maybe it makes a difference, yeah. but I like Boston second half and I like them on the full game money line. This is a team also, if they can tighten up in the pitching, mm -hmm. they're going to be very dangerous. All right, sounds good. Now, uh, there's there's another one. I got burned on Baltimore second Whew, half yesterday. Did you see what happened there? I saw that. Yeah, Did you they, see the ninth inning, though? I mean, what, no, they score saw, seven yeah, runs? They scored six? five runs. They, yeah. were, they were up five to one in the second half. You, you look like you couldn't like have Asher, been beat. And then they scored yeah. five in the bottom, not to win, but to screw the second half. Yes. Now we got Scherzer against Jimenez. Jimenez making a spot start. Jimenez, Ooh, of course, should Jimenez. be vulnerable. Scherzer, uh, good but 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 has been a little bit hittable yeah. recently, and I'm thinking about taking Baltimore on the second half here again at plus 115. What do you think? Uh, Scherzer might go the full game, though, and if he does, then that play is screwed, but what well, do you think? I love it, first of all. Yeah, last night, it's, I wouldn't have gone with this play today had it not been for the last mm -hmm. inning last night, because I was wondering what the hell's going on with these bats. Yeah. I think they found it at the right time, and there's no better cure-all mm -hmm. for anybody in the league than Hubaldo Jimenez to yeah. come to the mound. You like the second half. Mm -hmm. I like the first half okay. run line, Washington. All right, first half run line for Washington would be minus 150. God, I love it. All okay. right. How about the full game run line? The full game run line for Washington. Best line would be at Pinnacle plus 102. Okay. I'm going to, what's the full game money line? Full game money line for Washington. Best line would be minus 206. Jeez, that's, that's crazy. All right. I'll take the full game run line plus 102. Yes. Yes. What's the team total? For who? For, for Washington. Yeah. For Washington, I don't have it here, but it would okay. probably be, uh, let's see, the total is about eight and a half juice to the under, so I'm guessing it would be, I don't know, maybe four and a half juice. Tied. I got to take it. I think they get that in the first five, Pete. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take yeah. the team total over for Washington, and think it's probably going to be four and a half juice. I like it. Yeah. So three calls on that one, All baby. All right, wow, you're really, uh, you're, you've been killing it this month. Maybe yeah. you could uh, add another bunch of units. Uh, I would to love your, to, yeah. Pete. I'm going to do it, baby. All right, I guess I, will, I guess I will take Baltimore second half okay. at plus 115, just because of the, uh, the odds. Yeah. And that get, was a fluke last night, you losing that. Yeah, second half. Sure. That shit would never for happen sure. again. Excuse my language. Yeah, here. all right. Now, one other that's interesting yeah, is... My mom uh, would slap me if she saw <laughs> her be cussing like this on the air. For this real. guy, Renato, uh, for, for the White Sox, has been very, very vulnerable. He's a big, tall guy. Been giving up a lot of uh, runs. And now yeah. Seattle comes to town, a hitter's park, and uh, they've got a nice lineup that can be productive. If Seattle has a big uh, offensive day here, then maybe Seattle on the first five, the team total over, the run well, line, whatever. What do you think about that one? Well, when you said Seattle comes to town, well, it kind of it reminds me of that old song, The Circus Comes mm -hmm. to Town. Lately, that team's been a damn 
Circus, Pistol yeah. Pete, and that therefore that's a ten foot pole for me. It's ten that's pole, one of huh? them that just anything could happen, and I'm not I'm not willing to jump in. What's the circus been for them? What do you well, mean? Well, just uh, inconsistency it, the last right, three or right, four right, games. Okay. But off field drama? Oh, I don't no. know. Okay, nah, okay, circus right, right, right. with you a yeah, little line. Just trying to yeah, throw yeah, a little yeah, fun sure, out there. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do about that one. And then uh, one other one that I think I am going to, another one that I got burned on yesterday was KC. I thought I had a nice way. It was looking great. I had a plus one, and it was 0-0 after five yeah. innings. Yeah. They wound up losing three zip. But, I you know, know. I, I had a plus 140 uh, odds on that one. And See, I, I think you still won just from yeah, picking yeah, that play. I, yeah, that was I think, a great call. I think it was good. You know? I'm thinking about KC on the second half here. It's just, uh, you know, Kohler's been good, but he's only going to go yeah. six. And Miami, I'm not sure what to make what of them right What was that final now. last night? It was three zip. Miami won okay, three right. zip. Right. KC yeah. didn't score anything. They no. should be able to put something together. Has had a gel. He, yeah. I mean, he he literally pitched a gem last night. Yeah. All right. I will take Casey minus one thirty five on the second half, even though it's a little bit. Can I tell bit, you uh, something? Iffy. Yeah. What's when that? when Fernandez has pitches his gems yeah. and Kohler follows behind. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not kidding you. Yeah. He t- he steps up to the plate. It's Kohler. like that. Yeah. It's yeah. that competition thing. But he doesn't really go deep though. No, he doesn't yeah. go deep. Yeah. And when Fernandez gets pounded, I'm not kidding you. It's like mm-hmm. a pattern with these two, but. I don't know. I'm just too inconsistent, Miami yeah. bats. I got to stay off the all pistol. Right, well, hopefully, I'm not going to wind up hemorrhaging units here, and I will take that units. one. Let's see what. All right. So, you have anything else, Mike? No, I'm done right there, buddy. All right. I'm listen. Done. Why don't you uh, review your picks? Through you review your picks. Plug. Give a plug, and let me decide what I want to do about some of these borderline players. All right. Here, here we go with Brenner. We're going to keep it rolling, guys. All right. We're going to take Boston today on the second half. It's going to be about minus one thirty. Also, we're taking Boston on the full game money line minus one twenty five. Drew Pomerantz on the mound. All right, guys. Detroit. They're going to keep that train rolling as well. We're taking first half run line plus one fifty. 15, full game money line, minus 120, and a team total over five. All right, Washington, they got to straighten it out today, all right? First half run lines, minus 150. I like it, okay? Full game run line, plus 102, and the team total over four and a half. Keep it rolling. We got Toronto. We're doing one play on Toronto, Pistol Pete. Full game run line, minus 125 with Hap on the mound. And wrapping it up, Texas Rangers with Hamels on the mound. First half run line, minus 115. Full game run line, plus 128. And team total over five. Uh, first and foremost, what's most important, what I did again last night, I did some line shopping myself. All right, I just opened up two new accounts for college football. Pete, last night, I found the difference between two books that used to actually, I used to get a better value with both NFL and college with one. All right, last night I split two. I got two uh, bonuses that were phenomenal. Oh, nice, so yeah. I am ready for college and NFL because I took the time, I line shop, and the guys I signed up with through SBR, okay, they're uh, rated A plus on our book. So I can't go wrong. And that's all it takes a little time. You do your homework, okay, and you prep yourself and get ready. Put a game plan together to beat that book this year. Yes. Do it with Sports Review. Yes. Sports Book Review. On Sports Bit. Thursday, Paulie and I give you all the NFL preseason betting news you're not getting anywhere else. Who's got cluster injuries? The Bears got cluster injuries. The Bills got cluster injuries. Find out more. Tune in today's show plus Indians, Rangers, play of the day for tonight. Sports bit betting insight today. Very nice plug, Mike Brenner. All right, I will. It's a little bit of a steep line, but I will take the Seattle I team total. I knew you were going to do Seattle it. Seattle team total over 5 minus 115. Hopefully, they'll be able to uh, hit Renato. If not, I'll eat a, a unit loss. Yeah, there. But well, uh, I will take a shot with Renato that one. Yeah, up. Exactly. That All right. And uh, I guess that just about wraps it up, Mike Brenner. Hopefully, we'll have another profitable day, and we'll be back <sighs> once again for uh, the Friday card. If people are following us, congratulations. If they're fading us, hey, hey. I don't know. You know, maybe we'll start losing in September. Who I knows? I believe we'll be so, tomorrow. but the August rush is going to continue. Hey, don't forget to check out OCDpicks.com too. If you like Captain American football, there's 50,000 dead presidents on the line in this year's Bait the Prick contest. In case you ain't fucking guessed, I'm the prick. Click on the link below for more info. I'm ready to stomp some ass. This is going to be my best performance yet. So join today. It's free, you fucking squares. <laughs>